Hello everyone, this is Ajit Khan and in this tutorial we are going to learn how to set up a console server on a single instance. So for those who don't know about console, can read it on its documentation page. Basically, console is a tool uh, to be used for service discovery, health checking and key value store for dynamic configuration, multi data center. So to know more about console, you can read it here. Now let's get started with setting up our own console server. So I'll be following a post from my blog to set up console server on a single instance. For this I assume that you have an Ubuntu 14.04 server and a Tmux and Nginx already installed. So let's go ahead. I'm already inside my server. So, and if you hit the public URL of this server, you can see the site cannot be reached as nothing has been configured yet. So let's get started. Now uh, we'll be installing console in the bin directory. So let's go inside it. Then we need to download the console here it is now we need to unzip it unzip is not installed so let's install it So we have console ready, we can remove the zip file. Now we have console command ready. Now we will download the web UI for the console. So I will download it in the home directory and we will make a directory named console UI. You can name it anything you want to. So let's make it. So we have console UI directory. Let's get inside it. And now we will download the web UI. Now let's unzip it. Sorry. Okay, now we can remove the zip file. Okay. So we have downloaded console, we have also downloaded the web UI. Now we will be configuring configuring the console now we need to create a config.json file and we will create it in console config server directory so let's go ahead and make it Now we need to put certain configuration setting like we need to have bootstrap mode enabled, we need to have server mode enabled, log level up to debug, syslog to true, uh, data center name is dc1, you can name it anything you want to and we are opening uh, the 000 IP anywhere. Uh, then uh, we are having the binding address that means the, cl the cluster uh, the address which is used to communicate amongst the cluster nodes so we'll be using the private IP here 
PPP is for private IP node name is generally the host name by default and uh, they should be unique so you can use the private IP here as well uh, now comes the data directory so we have uh, be, we will be using uh, a directory named console data to store all the data console recommends to store it in uh, slash temp de uh, slash console directory but since we are using a single instance so on shutting down the instance all the data will be lost so here we need to change the console directory to some other directory in which the data can be persisted now uh, we will be saying that ui directory is this uh, in which we have downloaded the ui and uh, acl data center is dc1 we need to provide a master token uh, you can generate one on your own so for now we will be using this but you should use your own and uh, so that is it now let's put this configuration save and exit uh, now I, we need to check out the private IP so here is the private IP of my instance so we need to Okay. so we also have the console UI directory but for now we don't have console data directory so let's go ahead and make it okay so we have three directory now one is for the config file one is for the console UI and one for the console data which is our data directory Now we need to install and set up Nginx to listen on port 80 and serve the web UI. So this is a fresh instance so Nginx is not yet installed so let's install it. Okay now we have Nginx installed so let's make a config file for it. name it like console.com and you can copy paste the content from here we will be listening on port 80 uh, we need to replace We need to replace this domain you can put your domain here but we will be replacing here with the public IP of our instance since I don't have a domain yet and uh, we have specified the root directory to console UI to serve the web UI and uh, we are doing a proxy pass for the port 8500 we need to restart the nginx we are almost done now we just need to run the console agent to get everything up and running now uh, the console process would be running uh, we need to keep it on running so that uh, we can access it anytime so we need to have the mug session in which we will start the process and we will leave it running so let's open let's open a tmux session uh, so we are already in a tmux session so we can run the command here only so we will be starting the agent with command console agent we will be providing the console config directory 
and the UI directory uh, we need to have bootstrap true and client is anywhere so let's run this yeah we have our console server ready now you can keep this process up and running um, since this is a team up session press control plus B and then D so the tmux session is already there and running it is being detached and uh, now let's access the public ip hooray we have console up and ready now as you can see uh, we can have certain we can create key value pair if you go on acl the acl is not yet been enabled so we have provided a default master token for ACL so let's have that token you can put it here and if you access you can have ACL ready so you can store now your key value pairs it's all there so this is all to set up a console on a single instance any doubt are most welcome in the